Impera. I think imp Impera sounds right. It could be like Impera. Imp Impera. By Elliot Bonvi, which I always want to say. I don't know if it's Bonville. It sound the name sounds very French somehow. So anyway, this is Hey Guys Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2014. And uh, this fellow, this author, reminded me that I had played his game called Rogue's Labyrinth, which, as I recall, I described someone as a, like an extremely maze-oriented game with challenging. Well, I guess I ended up calling it boring or something. I can't... I apologize for not remembering it correctly, but I, I think Elliot said that he learned from that, so... Whatever. I'm, I'm excited. I'm pretty hyped for, for improvements. Uh, your supposed allies and your mortal enemy, the demon mage, Impera, I'm assuming, has conspired together, or have in the plural, to bring about your demise, stripping you of your powers... How they did that, who cares, that's just the plot hook. Your most trusted friends led you and betrayed you, handing you over to Impera. It was in exchange for peace, they said, and apologized. You rotted in Impera's dungeons. They were hailed as heroes. But now you find yourself in his arena. Survive, regain your freedom, and avenge yourself. You probably could have just put... What? Never mind, gosh. We're talking about gameplay, not syntax. Come on, GH, get it together. So I don't know what the controls are for this game, but I guess, wait, eh, I have the search button up for whatever, but let's let's ignore it. Um, so let's start playing. Does the numpad work? Okay, no, but you can, okay, so we have arrow keys only? I think so. And I just pressed space because it felt natural, but, um, also, I guess of oh, I pressed space, and it it uh, anyway. Hi, uh, the VI keys work in the what do you call it? The cardinal directions. So there's that. You can also press them simultaneously, and they kind of move. But anyway, uh, I just pressed space. Let's see if we can do something with this. Ta-da! Great. Okay. And I guess we just kill them. So, what, everything's moving at diagonals? I also have walls. I think I ran out of walls to make. And yeah, everybody seems to be moving in diagonals, and I can't stumble on the corpse, so the corpse makes a solid object as well. Do I have, do I have any? No, I don't have any more walls. Why would... So these guys are in... These Ks are actually somewhat intelligent with their movement. Whereas the other ones were just, you know, whatever you, whatever we can get. But these you actually have to trap, it seems. Yeah. So do I want more walls or more speed? Hmm. Uh, how much is speed? I have 98 speed. Now I have 105. And now I just killed the thing that was right next to me. So these O's move in the same movements that I move. So that's cool. And there's M's. Ah, and M's shoot laser beams. <laughs> Great. That would have been good to know. They don't always shoot laser beams, though. They just sometimes shoot laser beams. Killed. The K stands for killed. Um, let's go for walls. Oh, I got four walls now. Crazy. Um, and we'll do a wall there to, uh, ah, dang it, these guys are actually a little smart. And maybe they can move in more than just cardinal directions. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it could be because my speed's down. Yeah, oh man, that's, wait, my speed's 96, so every 20 moves the enemy gets a move over me. Well, that sucks. Let's uh, start by trying to trap you a little bit. Um, what would be a good trapping spot? Maybe this. I don't actually know how you attack. 
Is that gonna kill? Is this gonna kill me? Oh, this guy actually. Okay, so the C's don't even. Ah, diagonals, my mortal enemy. But I do have this wall here, so I might be able to wall you in. Ah, so close. Maybe the lava? Okay, wait, oh. Oh, there were all these corpses too. Man, I didn't even catch that correctly. So there's all of these. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Ah, except this guy moves. I need to figure out how to not be juked by this guy constantly. And also my speed went down. Why did my speed go down? My speed used to be 96. Ah, and now it's 92. Is it because I put the walls down? Maybe that, that could explain things. It could, anyway. It doesn't, oh, finally, gosh. Okay, so let's do speed this time. Why did my speed go down so much, though? Man. Check, okay. This M guy, dude. These M's, they teleport and they try to kill but how do I know when they're going to kill? Can they only kill from a distance? So if I if I catch up to them, I'll be fine. Maybe that's how it goes. So let's check this out. So we got wall. Yeah, wall decreased speed. Wall decreased speed. But does it do so permanently? Oh, that, that, that'd be kind of annoying. Oh, dang it. I wasn't watching the M's. The M's, they're rough, man. They're rough. Let's beware of the M's. Yeah. You, oh, again, I did it. I did it. I did the stupid. I am the stupid. So C's you got to worry about at the... Sorry. Now I'm just playing dumb. C's you have to worry about at the end. Uh, K's and O's are kind of in their melee state. I think I'm just going to go all speed and see how well we can do with that. I'm interested. Okay, no M's on this level, so no weird teleporting junk. Let's try to kill some of these guys. There we go. Uh-oh. Ha, <laughs> great. Uh, I think I just... Attacks or... Oh! Where did this come from? This little info box. Fool attacks at random. All these diagonal. Runs away. Don't, don't corner it. Well, how do you defeat it then? Anyway, I killed myself there, so that was my fault for sure. Why is the fool a K? Mm K. Okay. I mean, he does definitely attack at random. Maybe just K to distinguish between diagonal and orthogonal generally. Uh oh. Oh, and the M. I should read up on what the M means. I need to... Yeah, okay, so... War Magus conjures bolts no melee. So that's why you can... That's why you can defeat him when you can. So, yeah. So this game's interesting. This game's got a lot of uh, just individual enemy design. Uh, the only thing... It's got a very basic mechanic of the walls versus speed going on. And you only have... You're limited to four movement. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and put a wall here. Gotcha. All right, great. can't believe speed loss is permanent. Whereas wall... Oh, wait. Speed loss isn't permanent. Never mind. Although it seems like the speed gain you get is not permanent. Or I could be completely wrong. I think maybe you just get five speed per. Let's just, let's just pretend that. And let's pretend I'm not dumb. Okay, so that's great, that's great. Good, check. Oh man, I hate these friggin' blade bounds. Blade bounds are no good. They're difficult to deal with. Because they always love to just get in this space like this. I don't know how to deal with you when you're like this. Like, okay, how do I kill you right now? I have exactly 100 speed, so I can't catch up to you. Um, 
I guess the way to do it here, so I'm going to lose two speed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. He was supposed, there we go, gosh. Shouldn't that have been, oh, that would have been at 95. 98 is once every 50, no? Maybe it is once every 50, which wasn't, but I guess it just kind of happens at a random point. Anyway, uh, I think I prefer speed over walls generally. This should be enough walls at the very least. Okay, okay, I like it. We'll deal with the melee man first. I believe these K's will just kind of hop around me the entire time. All right, so that worked out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, oh, crapsicles. Um, yeah, so that just saved me barely. But I, did, I can't time this well. Oh, well, I can, I can do this, so. Because he's two spaces behind and stuff. So let's, let's get close to the fool and then not get accidentally killed by him. Okay, cool. So yeah, this goes up every 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could kill you. Oi, there we go. Let's not get ourselves walled in. Uh, great. I just got myself almost walled in. There we go. Oh, there's a mage on the level still, huh? Let's be aware of you. There we go. Every step might count here, so let's be very careful. Okay, cool. I like speed, I think. So we're going to keep us... Oh, new enemy type. Shade, it awaits you in the dark. Great. So what, they just kind of blink randomly? Is that what's going on there? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh. Ha. Your light radius gets smaller when you get closer to them. Neat. I like that. That's a cool design right there. So you got to kind of anticipate where they're going, maybe. Dang it. Okay, so we got rid of this guy. I'm not really sure how to deal with these guys, though. I'm not going to be able... Well... Yeah, I don't know how to deal with these guys. Occasionally... Okay, check and check. And they don't, they don't wall, or they can go through walls, maybe. Hmm, interesting. So there's that, and we'll just keep on leveling up speed... Because generally, this will just give me more opportunities to kill things. And having some amount of walls is important. Uh-oh. So mages, well, either I had a free space there, or mages won't shoot through enemies. Dang it. Um, there we go. There we go. No, dang it. Stop being mean. Okay, finally. Got it. Yeah, shades are rough. Ah, come on. Shades can move in any direction, it seems. One, two, three, four, five. Gotcha. Okay. Um, actually, what looks like it hap what happens there is that my extra speed gives me a free turn, and since it doesn't like clock the the shade, I get extra looky loo which I'm not supposed to. Anyway, it's a minor bug, and if anything, it's kind of interesting, so I don't mind it. I'll get a free turn on you eventually. There we go. These dang old cravens, man. They just crave N. I, I definitely prefer speed in this game. Q is a new type. Attacks with caution. Is there anything else here that's new? I think that's it. But I can't tell if you're a diagonal type or what. Oh, these battle monks. I don't think I want them close to me. Uh, 
Oy. And there's that dang old mage just waiting for me to slip up. Um, okay, well that worked out. Dang it, mage! Dang it, mage! Oh, these battle monks are interesting. I don't know how they... So they can... I don't know how those battle monks work at all. Oh, man, and now I'm on level one. Well, I guess at this point I'll just talk about the game. Since I got kind of far, but I died, and that sucked. Yeah, it's definitely good to get at least one level of walls. I don't think you need huge amounts, unless maybe you need a lot for the battle monks. Maybe. Oh, that could have... I think that could have killed me, but it didn't, because these guys are random. So, oh, that was close. Dang it, mage. Come on, give me a chance here. There we go. So, I really like what this game's doing. Um, it's got a very simple mechanic. It's got very simple controls. And it's got a nice variety of enemies. And really what happens is that you get into situations where you need to think a little bit. You kind of arrive yourself at a battle. And then you think about the situations that you're, that you're kind of in at the time. And so you have to you have to deal with them as they come. All right, cool. And so you just kind of think it through. It's kind of like a complicated game of chess. And that's one of the types of roguelikes that I really like to see is when you have a very simple game, but you have a very complicated ordeal that can arise uh, as a result of what happens, you know, in the game. So I like that a lot. And hopefully you guys do too. This is definitely a game. Ah, great. Um, I think I checkmated myself here. Yes. Yes, I did. Um, unless I have a free move? No. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think this is a good place to stop. But this is. I like this game quite a bit. It's very simple, it's very effective, and it plays well. You could, you could definitely, you know play this as a coffee break sort of thing. I don't know how many levels it goes, but it ought, ought to be interesting. Maybe there is an end to it. Uh, anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Impira. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2014. And I guess I'll just uh, personally say to, to Elliot or Knight, I don't know how you go by, but uh, congratulations on improving your, your style of your game. So Anyway, um, until next time, keep playing those roguelikes, guys. And take care.